Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jade for those of you who are new here and if you're not new here as always, welcome back. So yesterday I received something very, very exciting in the post, something that I've wanted to try since I've seen it and I weren't expecting to receive it. So when I got it, I was like, <laughs> I got the Jennifer Lopez Inglot collection. You know, I've heard a lot of people speak about it and I just wanted to have a little sit down. I am getting ready to go to an event later on. So I thought, why don't I just sit down, film myself, pretty much getting ready and trying out the collection. So this is how it came, all lovely gold packaging, of course, because JLo is known for just being a golden goddess. And you open it up and it's like that. So here we've got an eyeshadow palette, a lipstick, lip gloss, mascara, highlighter, and a bronzer. So I don't know if I'll use everything from the collection, but I'll just have a look and take bits and bobs of what I need. And I guess while I'm doing it, I will share my thoughts with you guys. I am gonna be doing like my whole face, so brows, eyes, face, lips, and all of that. So I guess if you want to know some of my thoughts and how the collection is, then please keep watching. So I'm going to start off with brows, how I usually do. I'm going to first take Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in shade 4. Next I'm going to take Benefit Brow Zings in the shade 4. Now I'm going to be taking Benefit Gimme Brow Plus. I'm now going to take Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer to carve out my brows. This is in the shade Y41. And whatever's left on the back of my hand, I'm just going to put on my eyelids. And then I'm going to set that with Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Okay, our brows are on, our eyes are prepped, and now we can move on. So I'm going to move on to the eyeshadow palette. It's really cool because it doesn't like lift off, it like slides off. It's like magnetic. It comes with really neutral colours. It comes with like a medium brown, like a champagne colour, goldy sort of pinky shadow, and then like a taupe. Just by looking at the collection, I feel like they've completely got it to a T, like with her. Jaylo's makeup is very glowy, very natural, very bronzed. So I feel like they've done a really, really good job just by looking at it. I'm gonna take this brown shade here and I'm using a Zoeva 228 brush and I'm just gonna go in the crease with it. This is a really nice brown. And I've tried a lot of shades of browns in my life, but this is like a really nice brown. It's like the brown I've, I've been looking for. I know that sounds bizarre because there is so many different shades of brown in the world, but this is the brown I've been looking for. And now I'm gonna go in with this taupe shade. I'm gonna just start working that in the outer section. everything blend out I'm gonna be taking a MAC 224S. This is just a clean brush but as I'm doing everything I'm just gonna blend everything out. In fact I've decided that I'm gonna put that taupe colour all over the lid and I'm gonna use a MAC 239 brush to apply that. I'm now gonna curl my eyelashes. These eyelash curlers are just from MAC. I haven't used eyelash curlers for years, but I used to use them all the time. But recently I've been wearing my own lashes instead of wearing false lashes every day. So I needed eyelash curlers because I got baby lashes, you know. Now I'm gonna take the Jennifer Lopez Inglot Mascara. I have been super into mascaras recently. I think it's because I haven't been wearing falsies, so I like am on the lookout. Before, I wasn't really like 
I just knew that fell slushies were gonna go on anyway, so like it was like whatever. But now I actually pay attention to what a mascara does. The wand on this is pretty groovy. It's quite thin, but I think this one is quite good. I think that's done a really good job. I'm gonna wait for that to dry, and then I'm gonna do a second coat. I think that is a really nice mascara. So I also received some lashes this morning, not by Inglot, by another company called Certify. So this is the packaging. It came with like a bow around it, but obviously I've opened it and stuff. But yes, a new company sent me some bits called Certify. So I'm really looking forward to trying out the bits that they sent me. But for today, I'm gonna to try these lashes. They are beautiful. These are the lashes and they're in the style Cosmo. So I am gonna apply these lashes off camera and then I'll be back. Okay, lashes are now on and now we can move on to the face. So because I am going off of Jennifer Lopez's collection with Inglot, I am feeling very, very Jado inspired. So I am in the mood for that glowy, fresh, bronzy, dewy look. And I think personally the key for a really, really good dewy, glowy skin is prepping your skin first. First of all, I'm going to go in with Tarte Chad, the Silk Canvas Primer. I'm not going to speak about this too much in this video because I am going to mention it in a favourites video, but this is so good. Just going to get my finger, swirl some around. A little goes a really long way with this. Uh, I'm not going to put it all over my face, I'm just going to put it in areas where I feel like I need it. So here I've got some pores, just areas where you feel like your skin needs a little bit more help. That's where I'm gonna put it and massage it in well. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna go in with MAC Softening Lotion Spray. So this is to go on before your makeup. It doesn't go on after, it's part of the skincare routine. So I'm just gonna spray some of that on the face to make sure that my skin is really well moisturized. Lastly, for skin prep, I'm gonna go in with Tarte Chart Dewy Skin Mist. I really need a new one of these. I have gone through countless bottles of these. This stuff is amazing. Typically right now, I'd go with foundation, but of course, I really, really want that dewy skin. So, Nip and Fab have come out with these amazing illuminators. So, this first one here is called White Gold. This second one here is called Rose Gold. And this third one is called Deep Gold. So, I'm personally going to use Rose Gold. And I'm just going to be applying some of this all over my face just before I put my foundation on just to make sure that my skin is looking well glowy before I go on with my foundation. I'm gonna use a Zoeva 220 brush and just start blending this all in. I really, really like these highlighters. They sit on the face so well and I like to apply this before my foundation and also after my foundation. And the best thing about this as well is that when you apply powder, it doesn't take off the powder. I really, really hate when liquid highlighters do that. Like it drags the powder off. And for me, this doesn't do that. But because we wanna be really glowy and just extra, I am applying it before and after my foundation. Of course as well, like if you don't wanna wear foundation and stuff, to put this on like as it is on just bare skin, your skin will look just as beautiful. So right now, I don't think I could look any more glowy. And now I'm gonna go in with foundation. This is NARS Longwear Foundation in the shade Syracuse. I'm just gonna shake the foundation just to make sure it's all okay. I'm gonna take a few pumps on the back of my hand and dot this all around my face. This has quickly become, again, I don't wanna to say too much because of my favorite video, but this has quickly become like my favorite foundation. And I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and blend that all out. Now I'm going to take Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer in the shade 4N. This is still my favourite concealer at the moment, if any of you were wondering. So like normal, just putting it on any areas that I need a little bit more coverage. I'm just going to blend it out with my Beauty Blender.
As soon as I've blended in one side, again, I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier translucent powder and just pat that in. I always forget to tell you what brush I use for this, but it's the 114 brush by Zoeva. Don't know if you guys can tell, but I really like Zoeva brushes. Really, really like Zoeva brushes. Zoeva, MAC and Sigma do my favorite brushes, but they're pretty high end. And my favorite low end brushes, I would say would be Spectrum and Morphe. My skin is looking really good right now. This makes me very, very happy. Okay, next, I guess I'm just gonna continue with eyes. I'm gonna take the same brown that I used in the crease and I'm gonna put this on my bottom lash line. And then I'm gonna use that taupe shade again. And I'm gonna run that on the bottom lash line as well more towards the start of the lash line so that it's more graduated. I'm gonna take the mascara again and put it on my bottom lashes. This I feel will be really good for the bottom lashes. Next I'm gonna take this shade here on a pencil brush and I'm gonna use this in the inner corners of my eye. So there is a bronzer that comes with the collection but this looks really, really light for me and I've swatched it and it would just be way too light. So I'm going to use something else instead and I'm going to use something that I've been using for a while and that I absolutely love. So I have two contour palettes here by Nip and Fab. This is the medium one and this one is the dark one. So I use the dark one because I like to look really bronzed, like really, really bronzed. I'm going to get this MAC angled fluffy brush. The number has rubbed off so I won't be able to tell you, but I think MAC only do like one of these, but it's just a very, very fluffy angled brush. I love this brush a lot because it does the work for you. It blends the bronzer for you. So I'm going to take these two shades here, just mix them, tap off the excess, and I am going to just put it in this section how I usually would. And the main reasons why I really like the Nip and Fab contour palettes is because they're not too gray toned, but they're not too orange toned. I feel like they're the most perfect sort of bronzy colors. And obviously if you contour, then you need something that is not orange because you will just look crazy. You don't want something that is really gray toned either because you'll end up just looking a little bit ashy, a little bit ashy. But obviously everyone's skin tone is different. So go with what you want to do. Again, I really like the dark palette because I like to look super bronze. And with the dark one as well, I make sure I tap off all the excess so that it doesn't come off too harsh. For my forehead, I like to tap in a little bit of this one. My forehead is naturally a lot darker than everywhere else. It's really strange. I think that's where the sun naturally hits. So my forehead's always been more dark than everywhere else for me. I like to just get a deeper shade and put it on my forehead. Love it, it literally just brings the look together. So there's this gorgeous orangey shade in here as well. And I like to use this as a blusher. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that corally browny sort of blushes are my favorite. I am gonna apply this on a MAC 129. This is really pigmented as well, so a little goes a long way with this. I'm just gonna buff that onto the skin. I've really been getting into blushes recently. I was never a blusher girl. And now I've got into blushes so much. I don't know why I didn't like blusher that much before, but I go through phases all the time. So again, I'm gonna go in with this Nip and Fab illuminator. I'm gonna just do a couple of drops. I'm not gonna apply as much as I did without the foundation, because I do want it to still look, you know, quite natural. I'm gonna blend it with as a Waver 110 brush. I can't actually find the brush that I used before to blend it out. gold shade and you know because I'm going out I want to be a little bit extra a little bit extra so I'm just going to apply some on my collarbones and buff it out with a stippling brush I'm then going to take the rose gold shade that I used on my face and put a little bit of that on and blend that out also you could put some on the arms cute little shoulder highlight 
I remember when everyone first started like highlighting their body and stuff and there was a lot of hate with it like a lot of people were like why do people highlight their body like who has the time and it looks stupid and stuff like that but if you think about it and more so in pictures i've been realizing this there is literally no point in having a really nice glowy dewy face if none of the rest of you is glowy so now i'm going to take this highlighter from the collection as well i'm first going to try a little bit on my body see what that's like Ooh. so i'm going to use this in the inner corners of my eyes as well i'm just going to take a pencil brush spray it with some fix plus and just tap some of that on that is insane that is insane how pretty is that always oh, jp got a new fave we used to see okay so the collection also comes with a lipstick and this is a red lipstick and it also comes with this gorgeous lip gloss this is what i was most excited for out of the collection because i love gloss goldy nudie glosses they it just makes me very very happy i am gonna try both shades for you just so you know what they look like so i'm gonna apply the red first So this is the red shade, which is absolutely beautiful. It's kind of, it's like a pinky red. Um, there's a lot of pink undertone in this red. It's not matte whatsoever. It's actually quite a glossy. It's not glossy, it's... What finish is this? A satin finish, I'd say? But I think this looks so pretty. Like with the minimal eyes, the pop of red. So I'm going to take this off and then show you what the gloss looks like now. So I just took off the red lipstick. I just pat my beauty blender on my lips just so it gives like a nudie sort of colour. I'm going to take the gloss. I'm so excited for this one. I hope it's what I imagine it to be. I wish the applicator was different. I don't feel like the applicator is big enough. The only thing I'll say is that I wish the applicator was bigger, but the actual color, the finish, everything, I am so excited. So I guess this is the final look. This is what I came up with. It was never gonna be a crazy makeup look, but this is very, very similar to my, pretty much my everyday look. I am really, really happy with how this came out. I am obsessed with the collection. Like for an everyday, natural, glowy vibe, I am so here for this. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there is things that you want me to try, you want me to test out, please leave a comment on this video or tweet me. I am on Twitter a lot interacting with you guys. It's like the main platform where I speak to all my supporters. So if there's video requests and stuff, please do head over to Twitter and message me. But like if there's other collections that I can get my hands on and that you guys want to see and you enjoyed this type of video, then please do let me know because I really enjoyed filming this a lot. I hope you like the look and I hope it helped you find out what you want from the collection if you were thinking of purchasing anything. Thank you so much for watching this video as always. Please remember to subscribe, like, comment. My other socials are down below. They're exactly the same name, at jpierce for pretty much everything, Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. Please do share this video, like this video. It helps me so, so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye. Mwah.